This is the Star Wars The Black Series from Star Wars Attack of the Clones. We have the Jedi Ayla Secura. I picked up this figure from Hobby Corner for about $31. Let's get her out of packaging. Here is the Black Series Ayla Secura out of packaging. And boy, this figure looks terrific. You know, ever since Hasbro started making this character in the 3.75 inch line, I've always tried to collect the character or the figure. And I think this is looking to be the best figure that Hasbro's ever done for Ayla Secura. It's got great details, fantastic sculpt. It's not the more modern sculpt that we're used to seeing. Like the joints are not pinless and all that, but it looks fantastic. Let's take a closer look at the details of this figure. Let's begin with some comparisons. Here is Ayla with Ahsoka Tano from Rebels, as well as General Anakin Skywalker from The Clone Wars. And the figure actually looks pretty tall. I don't know if the scale is correct. Head to toe, the figure stands at about 15 centimeters or about five and, and uh, seven eighths inches tall, just under six inches tall. Now onto the details of the figure. The figure comes with a lightsaber, very, very cool looking hilt. The hilt is just painted silver. Some details in sculpting here on the lightsaber hilt, but not a lot of details, just really nice shiny silver. It's got a uh, really nice long dark blue translucent lightsaber blade. It is on a flared peg. You can remove it, but do it very carefully. You don't want that thing shearing off. Uh, I don't think we'll have that issue as much as the previous figures from the Black Series line, but, but it's always prudent to be very careful with those very thin pegs. Now you can plug the lightsaber on her belt if you want it stored right there. The head sculpt is absolutely fantastic. She is a Twi'lek. You got the uh, Leku right here. Very nice. Uh, it's uh, it's not too soft. I mean, it's it's it has some give, but it's not uh, the super soft PVC we've we've grown accustomed to. She has a headdress. Uh, I don't think it's removable. It is molded on and glued on right there, like like the whole hair piece. Uh, the face is just painted beautifully. She's got a separate piece molded. It's not molded onto the chest itself. It's like a separate piece that they glued on. Uh, for her tunic, that's very cool. Uh, some sculpting here and there on her arms. It's a shame they, don't, they haven't given her the double jointed elbows, but it's okay. She's got a belt and lower garment right here. Legs, you can still see the pins on the legs, but what I do appreciate with this leg sculpt is that they've sculpted the boot as a separate piece and as such, it will have a swivel and there's better articulation on the feet. My only gripe, it's a very, very small nitpick, is the way they've sculpted the the boot right here on the foot. It feels like she's wearing clogs instead of being like a homogenized shape of the actual boot. It just feels like she's wearing clogs, especially when you're posing her and you have the foot articulated like this, or pose like this. Yeah, but it's a very, very minor, small complaint. Overall, the figure is absolutely fantastic. Now articulation, she's got a ball joint right here. It's a double ball joint. No ball joint at the base of the neck. Ball jointed upper torso. The arms can go in and out, forward and backward. You got an elbow hinge and a swivel. The fists can rotate and can go up and down. And I believe she's got some butterfly joints right there very small butterfly joints but they are there the hips are on ball joints and you can do the splits go forward and backward you got thigh swivel double jointed knees and that calf swivel because of the boots i mentioned and ankles can go up and down and have the rocker tilt and so some final thoughts on the star wars the black series ayla secura and this figure blew me away. I absolutely love this figure. I did not expect it to look this great. If you're having second thoughts about this figure, I would really encourage you to give it a second look. It is one of the best Black Series figures we have. I mean, sure, it doesn't have the pinless joints. I mean, could use some double joints on the elbows. But overall, I'm very, very pleased with the sculpt that Hasbro's done for this figure. It's got fantastic details with the boots, her uniform, the head sculpt is great, the lightsaber is great. All 
major aspects of the figure are just incredible. The details are spot on. Just really, really pleased with this figure. The figure is going to get a 10 out of 10. Now, starting this year, I made it a rule for the Black Series figures that I would just be getting major characters. And even if it's a major character, it had to have some significance, some emotional investment, uh, some significance for me, for me to actually get collect it and keep it in the collection. Now for this figure, I think I'm gonna make, I'm gonna have to make an exception because she neither fulfills both any of those two criteria. She's not a major character. I honestly, don't have a very strong emotional attachment or investment with this character, and yet I find myself wanting to keep this figure in the collection because it is that good. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think of this Star Wars The Black series from Star Wars Attack of the Clones, Ayla Secura. Hit that notification bell so you never miss out on any of my latest video reviews. And if it's your first time here, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.